Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're hanging out on the dock right now. We've been uh, finding some storms the last couple of days. We haven't been able to get out and film, so it's been a real bummer. But today we have a really cool uh, idea for a video and we're gonna try to knock it out before the storms roll in. Uh, but before we do that, we have a couple things we want to talk to you guys about. So first off, we want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and to every video you've already watched yeah. on the channel so far. We have been on YouTube now for two months. I think it's been two months. Two months? Yeah. Maybe a little bit more than two Maybe months. Maybe a little but... more than two months, but not very long at all. And somehow we've amassed 7,500 plus subscribers. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, yeah, we're mind blown whenever, by that. Whenever we decided to make this YouTube channel, it was mainly just out of peer pressure from our family and friends. They were like, hey, you need to start videoing our, your videos and your adventures and uh, you know, sharing them with everybody else on YouTube. And we're like, ah, you know, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just post them on our Instagram feeds or on our Facebook profiles and it'll be all right. Like, no, 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 you need to put it on YouTube. So we're like, okay, whatever, we'll do it. So we made this channel blindly and we are just amazed by all the support and all of our and all the positive feedback y'all have been sending to our channel. It's just it's crazy to have amassed 7,500 subscribers in two months and <laughs> we're blown away. But we have to say we we don't believe that we could have done this um, on our own. We've had a lot of help. We've had some of some of our subscribers um, lend a hand in helping um, grow our channel and get the name out for our channel. So right now we'd like to say thank you to a couple of channels. The first one being uh, Backwoods Raised. He's our, the man. <laughs> our buddy Spicy, he, he hit us up first and he told all of his subscribers about the channel and we were like, wow, that's really cool, that's really awesome. And um, he's been a really, really good subscriber and becoming a really good friend of ours. And uh, we say thank you, Spicy. Uh, next, we'd like to say um, thank you to my buddy, uh, Kevin Baxter, the bait man. He's got a channel called Baitman TV. Uh, he's a tackle junkie like I am. He is, um, shout us out on his channel. And um, that's really cool, it's really, it's really awesome. We really thank you, it's really appreciative towards him. And finally, we have another uh, shout out we got yesterday from the Arms Family Homestead. I don't know if you've heard of that channel, but um, we had never heard of them before either. And we got all these comments on one of our videos say, hey, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead sent us <laughs> over. And we're like, oh man, who's that? Who's that? We got so many like bang, 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 bang. I was like, who is this person? So we went on there and checked it out. And uh, he's a great guy. They have a great family. Mm -hmm. um, they have a great channel. We watched a lot of their videos. It's awesome. So we want to say thank you so much to yes, thank you. Arms Family Homestead for uh, sending some love and shouting us on their channel and if you haven't heard of these channels before we're going to link them down in the video description in the video description below so tell them that jay and cole and jay sent, sent you and um show them some love they're awesome channels awesome people now jay is going to tell you guys some really really exciting news and no we're not having a baby so <laughs> that's not it <laughs> Okay, so a month ago, we set a goal to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it looks like we might, that might happen for us sooner than we expected. But we are planning to do a 10K giveaway. And that's super exciting. Because we're gonna randomly select a few of our lucky subscribers to win a super awesome Colin J uh, <laughs> prize package. We're not exactly sure what the contents of the package are gonna be, but they're gonna be awesome. And we just wanna let you guys know first that we are going to be having this awesome giveaway. When we know more details about what we're gonna be giving away, we will sh for sure let you know. But we need your help to get to 10K. And you can help us by telling your friends about our channel or simply just sharing our videos. So basically, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, y'all are amazing. We love y'all so much. Let's get to 10K together. Let's do it. Now that we've given you all this awesome news, let's go fishing. Okay guys, what's up? We made it to Alex's house and we're about to get into action. So behind us, you see there's a creek. It's not a very big creek, but it's got some fish in it. It's got bass, brim, grennel, just about everything. This creek actually leads to the lake that we live on. And uh, we're gonna get to what we had in that little package, so. Here is our package of terminal tackle. We got some bobbers, hooks, and sinkers, and we have a spool, a fishing line, but we don't have any poles. Has there ever been a moment whenever you were gonna go fishing and you had all of the terminal tackle and line, but you didn't have a pole to use? Probably not. That's probably never happened to you. And if you did, if that did happen to you, you probably used a stick. Hey, okay, we're not gonna use a stick. We're going to make a fishing pole out of cans. <laughs> We're gonna make working fishing poles out of Coke cans. And what kind of can you got? I got a Best Choice Country Mist. We got a Country Mist can. <laughs> Shout out to Harps or wherever we got that at. We got a Coke can and a Country Mist can. And we have line and we're gonna show you guys how you can make a fishing pole out of a Coke can and how it works and how you can catch fish with it. Okay, we're gonna put this can to use. We're gonna turn this can into a fishing pole. You got ready? For starters, we're gonna take our line we just have a spool of big game, it's a 10 pound test. 
And you don't have to have the tab on there, but we're, we got the tab on the can, so we're gonna tie our line to the tab and, and the coat can. And you can just tie whatever kind of knot you got. We're just gonna tie a couple of overhand twist knot, weird knot deal going on. So you have our line tied to the tab end, and all you're gonna do now is you're gonna wrap line around the can. Try to wrap it kind of like evenly and nice. The can, oh I hear the thunder. The can is gonna act as your spool. So just however much you want, we're gonna put a hefty little load of it on there. We decided to come to this creek today because it's not very wide, so we don't have to make a very long cast to get into the strike zone. All right. I think that's good. <laughs> Okay, got a bit off. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to tie, tie on our terminal tackle. I just brought this little bag of stuff. So we got a couple of bobbers. And let's get a hook. And we'll get a sinker. Pinching the sinker on real quick. Tie our hook on, I like to tie a Palomar knot. You just double your line up. We might make a video in the future going over some fishing knots or just all sorts of different knots in general. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But you just double your line up, run it through the eye, tie an overhand knot, and then run your hook back through the loop. All right. Now we're just gonna put our bobber on. This one has a weight on it. It's a weighted bobber, and it's gonna help us fling it out there. Since we're not actually using a real fishing pole, it's gonna help us fling it out there and uh, catch a fish. So I'm gonna show you how this works before we actually bait it up. Let's come out here to the creek, try it out. Okay, we're gonna make our first cast with the Coke can fishing pole set up. So all you do, you just have it on your can, and you give it a send. Awesome. Pretty cool, right? And then what you're gonna do to reel it in, you just hold your line and then you just reel it onto your can. So I wouldn't really recommend doing this if you're gonna be fishing like an artificial lure where you're gonna be having to throw it out and reel it in to get a bit like a rooster tail or a spinnerbait or something. So this is really gonna be better if you're using like a live bait. And so get it, you can keep your line uh, tense. I already see a fish out there. And um, when your bait goes under, then you you set it with your hand and you reel them in real fast. So, are you ready to try to catch a fish? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we're about to have a friendly competition of who can catch the first fish. So comment below, do you think it's gonna be me? Or do you think it's gonna be Cole? It's gonna be me for sure. I've got the coat can, she's got the lame old country mist. Wait, now you were supposed to share that with the superstar. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sharing it with you. Okay, we're gonna try to get the fish and hopefully get it on land for you guys. Go for a new cast. Oh, I got one! No! Oh, that's crazy. What? He could have been smoked it as I was pulling it up. Okay, that was the first fish on the Coke Can Fishing Reef. That was the first cast. Bad luck. Smoked that grasshopper just because it's the first fish. Catching a fish on the first cast is bad luck, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Hopefully, we catch a bigger one. I gotta find another grasshopper. That's right, it. Heck yeah, that was awesome. Come on, fish. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. okay. Got him. Got him. Real men. <laughs> I'm pulling the line. No, 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 no. Real men, real men, real men, real men, real men, real men. Real men. Get, away. <laughs> Get him, Jay. Get him. Swing him up. <laughs> I did get one. Woo! Let's see it. Look at there. Awesome. On the coat can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let him go. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye, fish. Awesome, bye, Jay. Hey, that was cool. <laughs> On the coat can. On the coat can. Up.
Current update, it started to rain, so we're gonna put the camera up in the car for a little bit. But Jay and I are tied, one fish each, and uh, we're gonna try to catch, I think first one to three wins. So, Ooh, yeah. stay tuned. <laughs> okay, I'm about to get him. Go. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, it's a red ear, oh, I think. Oh no! Is it yeah, it's a red ear! Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah, red ear? A red ear, hey. Killing it in the species department already. I got one bluegill and one red ear. Hey, I think it's the biggest fish of the day too so far. Yeah. Here, let's pop them off. Woo! Send them back. Bye. Uh oh. That's two. To two, one. two to one. Getting nervous. Okay, get yours. She's back in the water. In the strike zone. Getting lit up. Got him! Big in! Big in! <laughs> Big in! Reel him in! Reel him in! Reel him in! Reel him in! Oh, that's crazy. Giant. <laughs> Is that a red ear? Please be a red ear. Come on, baby! Woo! Nope. I think it's a hybrid. Came out. <laughs> Let's see it. Number two. Number two. Okay, it's tied up two to two. We're about and to have death. our fish off right here. Sudden death. Next fish wins. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Who Jay. do you think? Jay? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Two. I'm gonna start down. Oh gosh, I'm getting a bite. Oh gosh, eat it. Dang it. <laughs> There's still chance if he loses it. I got it! No! <laughs> Number three, baby! I'm your can fishing champion. Team J. All the way. J? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, stroke. <laughs> J won that fair and square. We got to two. I said, next fish wins. And uh, she cast it out and made a good cast and caught a fish, so. She is the champion of Alex's ditch. Let your winning fish go. Oh. Keep dropping him. Big it! Oh. oh! Heck yeah! That's the same fish you just released. <laughs> that is. Hey, she beat me first though. Three fish apiece. That's like real, and honestly, it's only been like maybe 10 casts all together, and we've caught six fish. So, we're gonna send this one back. Alex's fish is loaded. We're gonna give you the address to Alex's house so you can fish this creek. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let Alex have a go. Are y'all crazy as ready for this? Watch this. Whoa! Oh, snap! Good cast. Okay, you got, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Instant. No! Really? Really? Oh my god. Oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh gosh, you got doubles. That was so fast, Alex. Yeah. Oh, doubles. Oh. oh hold yours bigger. closer. Hold yours closer. Hold yours closer to the camera. Mine's cute, though. Yeah, mine's kind of. <laughs> mine's got this crusty stuff on its tail. Look at this that. It's getting dizzy. Mine looks like it'd be more successful, oh. though, in the fish world. <laughs> it's funky looking. Okay, so Alex has this cool tree house and it has a zip line. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, loser has to try out the zip line first to make sure it's safe. And that's the loser. What up? Okay, I hope this goes well. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> you ready? All right. You ready? Ready? You catch you if I fall? I'm probably not <laughs> gonna catch you. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, Set. one, two, three. <laughs> go! Well, we hope you enjoyed this Coke can fishing challenge. Go drink your Coke, get you some terminal tackle, and head to the creek and go try to catch you a fish on a Coke can.
And if you like this type of video, be sure to let us know in the comments. We're, We're Cole, Cole and Jay, Jay, and we will see you on the next video.